Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and right now the Computex 2015 is taking place in Taipei. And while there are a lot of crazy PC cases and laptops announced, when we look back in a few years on this year's conference, then there's one announcement that will stand out, and that's the introduction of Thunderbolt 3. So welcome to my Thunderbolt 3 Explained video, where I'll show you why this new port is the port to rule them all, and why this matters not only for Mac, but also for Windows users. So while ports are usually not that exciting, there has been one buzzword lately and that's USB Type-C, a very small reversible connector that not only offers the regular USB connectivity, but also display out and it can also support power so you can charge your laptop using this port and it has basically become famous mainly because of the new MacBook that's very controversially discussed. And this is where the first big change of Thunderbolt 3 comes in. It's now not in the shape of a display port or mini display port, but this time it's actually based on USB Type-C. Which basically means that Thunderbolt 3 offers all the functionality and benefits of USB Type-C that I mentioned before, but in addition to this, it's also much faster. So currently there are two USB Type-C versions. The first one that's based on USB 3.0, which we'll find on the new MacBook, for example. And this offers bandwidth of five gigabytes per second, which is already very fast. But then there's another USB Type-C 3.1 version, and this offers 10 gigabytes per second. But of course we all know Thunderbolt 2 was already faster with bandwidth of 20 gigabytes per second, and now Thunderbolt 3 shines once again because it has a bandwidth of 40 gigabytes per second, which is much more or four times as much as USB 3.1 Type-C. Now you might be rightfully asking, well, what does this extra bandwidth even bring me or what benefit does it have for me? And there are actually a couple of benefits. So first off, Using Thunderbolt 3.0, it's actually possible to connect two 4K displays at 60 Hz to one Thunderbolt 3 port, which is certainly not possible with USB Type-C 3.1. In addition to that, it's also a great single cable docking solution because it not only supports the aforementioned two 4K displays at 60 Hz, but also delivers up to 100 watts of power to your notebook at the same time. So it's also charging it. And here comes news which is great for gamers. It now allows you basically to plug and play and connect external graphics to any notebook that has Thunderbolt 3, so you don't need any proprietary ports like Alienware uses them, for example. Now, bandwidth is good and all, but that's not enough to power these external graphics cards, so you might be asking yourself, how does this work? And there's one simple solution. Thunderbolt 3 also supports more protocols, so not only USB, Thunderbolt and DisplayPort, but also PCI Express. And in this case, it actually offers four lanes of PCI Express Gen 3, which allows this functionality. Last but certainly not least in terms of feature set, we'll actually also have daisy chaining, which we know from previous Thunderbolt generations. So Thunderbolt 3 allows up to six devices to be daisy chained to one Thunderbolt 3 port. In terms of availability, Intel currently claims that Thunderbolt 3 will be shipping before the end of this year, so that we'll see the first product with it in 2016. And I would bet a lot of money on the fact that one of the first devices to incorporate Thunderbolt 3 will be the revamped then version of the new MacBook with Retina display. So overall, I think we can sum up that there are a lot of reasons to get excited about Thunderbolt 3 because it basically improves everything that we already love about USB Type-C. And also at Computex, we've seen that a lot of new devices, even all-in-one PCs and notebooks already incorporate USB Type-C. So this will certainly be a kind of port that will lead the future. And then with the added functionality of Thunderbolt, that especially allows to connect 4K displays or two 4K displays at 60 Hertz. This is pretty insane and I'm very excited. And I can certainly also say that it's very likely that we will see it across the entire board of Max very soon because one thing is that Apple is really behind Thunderbolt. We've seen this for years. So I'm sure they'll be one of the first companies to really embrace this new standard. 
So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about Thunderbolt 3 and USB Type-C for that matter in the comment section down below and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this and share it. Thanks again. See you next time.